Hi, I'm John, the Community Currency Engineer, and today on the 5th at my blog at Yahoo Groups called Termel is an article, Michiana Money Suffering Rare Criticisms, where people in the community are complaining about others who want to start up their own community currency. Needless to say, a lot of bent people need to be straightened out. So here it is, Michiana Money Suffering Rare Criticisms, and at the very end, a quote by Douglas Rushkoff, show how to do things better. Michiana Money Suffering Rare Criticisms, I said from the South Bend Tribune, discussion on the new Michiana Money Community Currency Project with the website. May 5th, South Bend Tribune. Name of the new local currency to be announced Friday, Tribune staff report, South Bend. Organizers with the Michiganity Community Currency Project plan to announce the name of the new local currency at a press conference at 2 p.m. Friday at Fiddler's Hearth downtown. Area residents are encouraged to vote on several possible names via the internet or by phone through Wednesday. Open voting began April 27th. Well, good, it brings attention to it. Smart. Choices include BGs, Bridges and Growers, Bits, Bridges, Growers, Max, Michiana Area Currency, Money, Michiana Money, RV, Real Value, also a nod to the local production of recreational vehicles, Sprout Seeds, Social Empowerment and Equity Dollars, Shares, Social Harvest Resource Exchange, Talents, Wits, we're in this together, gee, nobody thought of ours? They're pretty good hours. Online voting can be done by visiting the website at michianacurrency.org and sending a vote to michianacurrency at gmail.com. So, quote, we are very gratified by the response we've received thus far, said Carl Hardy, an organizer with Michiana Community Currency. We want everyone to have the opportunity to make their opinions known about what the new currency should be named. Local currencies are designed to foster local trade, build community or social capital, and enhance economic opportunities for the community's marginalized persons, according to the news release. Michiana community currency will only be able to be spent locally and will complement the federal dollar, organizers say. Well, of course, people will be able to trade them around in their neighborhoods, too. They'll be signing up businesses and individuals to participate in the local currency exchange network over the coming weeks and months with a planned launch of the currency in the fall, and I hope you guys got an online database. I said there's always someone who doesn't want to be set free, though. So, from The Justice, posted May 4th. We don't need any more fiat currency in this world. Why not back it by something tangible like gold so that it has some true value and to protect it from inflation and devaluation should you decide to turn on the printing press? Most people have so much gold, right? He continues, are you pegging this to the dollar? What will you do when the inflation takes its toll on the U.S. dollar? Will you be forced to devalue and deflate your, or inflate your local currency? I said, well, if they peg it to the hour, like in Ithaca, 60 minutes owed is always 60 minutes. TJ, why not promote buying local? Simply encourage people to go to the farmer's market, to stay away from Walmart, avoid franchises, and buy from the small business owners in the community. This can be done through coupons alone. So I said, yeah, encouraging people to skip the cheap box stores and shop locally has worked so well so far, eh? I'm very skeptical. Are you from South Bend, he says. Well, I said, luckily, community currencies are only of use to those who use them and don't have to be used by the skeptical until they're broke enough to appreciate any currency to do business with rather than no currency, like in the last Great Depression. Then A. Smith wrote, I will have to agree, this is silly. Why waste time, energy, and real money to print fake money? I said, why waste time using fake chips when you play poker, when you could use nothing and have to settle up after every pot? He continues, I don't want fake money as change from a business in the area for my real currency I can use anywhere. And I said, now that he's labeled something bad, it's obvious he'd rather stay broke and do nothing than use community poker chips. A.S. I want a list of businesses using this so I can avoid them. I said, maybe the stores should make up a list of guys who dissed the financial salvation service and not let them join as too stupid to be trusted with, quote, fake money. 
So Doris Fannersdale wrote, I don't understand. Why change the name and what kind of currency? So I said, imagine you babysit for a neighbor and she pays you with a four-hour IOU. You need dentistry. You look in the local currency director and find a doctor who's charging four hours per hour and take your four-hour IOU. You've bartered your for your dentistry with your time. Think of a local currency as keeping track of your barter score in units of time linked to currency. In the U.S., an hour's worth ten dollars. In Canada, twelve green dollars. In the U.K., six green pounds. In France, sixty green francs. In Germany, twenty green marks. But in 1999, I paid for 39 nights out of 40 in Europe with an IOU for a night back in Canada worth five hours. So from Cartoon Mechanic, CM, just another chance for a low life to print fake money and scam local businesses and townspeople. I said, and just another guy who doesn't get into the game because he doesn't trust the guy chosen to bank the game with the chips, which everybody can watch. See him. And who is going to foot the bill on that? The local taxpayers. And I said, I didn't hear about being able to pay your taxes with local currency. But that's the holy grail when everyone in town will take it. The mayor could borrow what he needs from the time bank, spend it into circulation for municipal projects, tax it back at the end of the year with a tax matching the people service we got, and no dirt debt service to the bank. So then Justin Bowen wrote, why waste time, energy, and real money to print fake money? And I said, you'd be right if we knew what fake money is, other than a nonsensical definition of a useful mechanism. For the record, merely replacing all federal cash in circulation results in what I call the Sparta effect. When visiting, your gold was deposited in the Sparta City Bank 3,000 years, 2,500 years ago for clay tokens while used while in town and cashed out upon leaving. Sparta got the interest while trading went on with clay chips in town. If all bought stamps or for cash or all bought tokens for cash, the state would get the interest while trading would go on, go on with the tokens. So the Sparta effect is the main benefit of a cash buy-in currency, like Berkshires. But not including people with no cash to buy in with is its main defect. People should be able to buy in with cash or with time, and that problem is solved. JB, I don't want fake money as changed from a business in the area from a real currency I can use anywhere. <clears throat> I said, no doubt. As less and less stores in your area have any real currency to pay you with that you can use anywhere, you'll have more and more stores surviving by offering you the only change they have, which you won't take. JB, new Michiana currency, Printed money whose value is likely to disappear with the passage of time. U.S. dollar, printed money whose value is likely to disappear with the passage of time. What's the difference? And I said, not if it's linked to the time standard of money, like all community currencies are. What? Will an hour owed by your neighbor suddenly only get you 50 minutes? Time-based currency can't change value. JB, the justice is correct. We don't need more fiat currency. And I said, this isn't fiat currency, it's commodity-backed currency, where the commodity is human time, not only gold and houses. The Liberty Dollar was a huge step in the right direction until the federal government came in and trampled all over the rights of private citizens, he said. And I said, the Liberty Dollar was a flawed concept whose only beneficiaries are the gold bullion brokers. How much gold do you have to pledge to get money? Your neighbors? Well, how much free time do you have to pledge to get money, your neighbors? And no one's trampling on their rights when all they had to do was not make their chips look like the government's chips. They chose to incur the wrath of the government, probably to give the community currency movement a bad name. JB, the Michiana Community Currency Organization would have been better off had it used some sort of commodity as the basis of its currency. And I said, well, they can't but help link their money to the minimum wage, which involves human time.